What is up everyone, today I have another super exciting video for you. And why is that? Well that is because today, we're taking a look at the brand new Oculus Quest pass-through API. So, if you guys have been following the news recently, you would know that developers finally got access to the Oculus Quest pass-through API a little while back. But what you might not know is that we also have access to it. By using a few ADB commands or using SideQuest, we can actually enable it on our headset right now and test it out. And currently, with this mode enabled, this device, this $299 device, is doing more for AR than actual AR glasses. Perhaps because they don't really exist yet, or because they are completely out of reach, like the Microsoft HoloLens, but developers have been playing around with the AR mode on the Quest, and that is exactly what we are going to do today. I'm going to show you how to enable it, and we're gonna try out a few apps. Now, do keep in mind, it is still black and white. However, I want to see whether this feels the way I think it'll feel, and I wanna see whether this has the possibilities of being the future. Let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing you want to do is we are going to need to enable the Quest Pass-Through API either by using this ADB command or even easier, we are going to use SideQuest. So, you know, to use SideQuest, make sure you have all the usual, either an Android phone or computer, you know, to run the ADB command. And after that, a USB Type-C cable and USB developer mode enabled on the Oculus Quest. After that, let's get to plugging it in. Okay, so now that we have our Quest connected, let's launch SideQuest and let me show you where to find the brand new enable pass-through API option. So with SideQuest fired up, you want to go up here to the top right hand corner, device and settings, and in here, you want to go to experimental mode and turn it on. Once it says experimental mode set OK, you are perfectly set. Let's start downloading some experimental pass-through API apps, fire them up, and see what we get. So the first one we are going to hop straight into is Cactus Cowboy AR, pass-through tech demo. So this is actually one that I was talking about in one of my previous videos, and it's one that I want to try out live with you guys on camera, app listing page, and install to headset. This will install this app, and I'm also gonna download a few other ones, and I will be straight back to you guys. So first of all, as usual, with any side-loaded apps, you want to go to unofficial apps on your Oculus Quest and launch the apps from there. We are going to start with Cactus Cowboy. So in this game, essentially, there's enemies spawning around your room. It's a classic AR shooter, and that's why I really wanted to try it out. I haven't seen one of these in a while. First of all, you have to choose a gun. Then with enemies spawning all around you, you essentially just shoot at them while they come at you from different corners of your room. Very simple game, but very, very fun. And it is free on SideQuest, so in case you guys want to try out this new pass-through API, well, this is certainly one game that I would recommend you try on it. After I died multiple times, I hopped straight into the AR demo. Now, this one was a little bit interesting, because while it can't really be called a game, it can be called an experience, because an experience it was. This AR demo allows you to check out what you can really do with all the pass-through options. Now, I'm almost certain that these aren't all the options that you get with the new pass-through API, but just a few of them shown off to the user. The different colors, the different brightness, contrast, etc. Things that we could never do before, using pass-through. We never had the chance to change anything about it. There's also a few cool things like blocks and the brush that essentially allows you to paint over the world and slowly reveal your room. I think that's really cool. But certainly one of the cooler options in this app was the flashlight, because the flashlight really made me realize how cool this is, and how much you can do. In fact, it made me realize it so much that I went and disabled the Guardian so that I could leave my room. Now, as dumb as that might seem, because I'm wearing a headset, it's dark, I'm holding a flashlight, I'm going downstairs, yes, I went down the stairs, it was definitely a mind changer. Because while I did think that the AR mode was cool, this showed me how cool it really was, and the possibilities you had with it. And I'll explain that a little bit more later later, but I went down to Eddie, pointed the flashlight at him, and I also pointed the flashlight at the dog, and then I decided, you know what, it's time, let's go back to the room. In the room, I played around a little bit more with the colors, because you do get all the color options. Too bad we can't color the entire pass through different colors, that would be really cool. And then I waved at the camera for no specific reason whatsoever, pointing the flashlight all around my room without any colors, this time just seeing how it would work in pure black and white. And the answer is, really damn cool. Okay, so that was absolutely incredible. And just in case you don't get it, you don't see why that little AR demo there could have been incredible in any way, shape or form. 
Well, that is because it shows you how much we can do with this. Twitter has recently been flooded with little videos of people trying out the new AR mode and doing some absolutely crazy things with it that look unbelievable. But until you try one of these, you just don't see the gravity of how amazing this can really be. When I picked up that flashlight, a thought came to mind, and it was an absolutely unbelievable one. Horror games in VR are already bad enough, as in, I can't play them, because it's scary. Now, imagine developers implementing the Pastor API into something like Five Nights at Freddy's. You're walking around your own house with a flashlight. Everything is dark except for the part you illuminate. Sure, it's still going to be in black and white unless somehow we find a way to color in the pass-through mode. Yes, you can color it, but only a single color. But imagine that. You're walking around your house, absolutely creeped out. Everything is pitch dark except for the flashlight you're holding. That's amazing. That is absolutely incredible. And that's the feeling I experienced right there, holding that flashlight only parts of my house were illuminated. Sure, it's not the AR we're all hoping for. The AR we're all hoping for is going to be colored, is going to be way more high resolution, but this is the beginning. And the fact that developers have a place to begin, the fact that developers can already develop apps for this is amazing. And the Oculus Quest Pro may or may not have colored pass-through. And with colored pass-through, it is going to be an XR device because it's going to be virtual reality and AR. And looking at the fact that we got the pass-through API, I would not be surprised if the Oculus Quest Pro had colored pass-through. I would not be surprised if the next step was making the Oculus Quest Pro an XR device, blending the two realities together, allowing developers to create things they could have never created before, because they have a device that is affordable to much more people than something like the HoloLens. Even the little shooter I played at the very beginning, just seeing the enemies coming at you from your own house, even if it is just black and white, you are still in your own house. There's just something about it. However, let me move on to the part that I personally am most excited for. I'm not a developer, so I don't know exactly how Pastor API works, but I would certainly hope that we would be able to work on some form of occlusion. Now, the Quest uses something that I would call some form of AR core, even though it's probably not even close. AR core on an Android phone scans the room and knows what is a surface and what isn't. Something like the LiDAR scanner on an iPhone, except the LiDAR scanner on an iPhone, from what I've heard, is actually better. I think the Quest has some form of that. Why do I think that? Simply because when you create your Guardian, it knows when something is standing in your Guardian in your way, and it shows you where that object is. That makes me think that it knows the height of objects when it scans them and knows what the object looks like. It could create a 3D render of the room, which is both creepy, but also really exciting. Because imagine it being able to create that 3D render and throw that into the pass through API. The cubes I was throwing onto the ground, they hit the ground no matter where they hit, simply because they didn't know that the bed was there. They didn't know that the PC was there. They didn't no, there was a wall there. What if they did? If that were to happen, those cubes wouldn't have to hit the floor. They could hit the bed, they could hit the wall, they could hit anything, adding an extra layer of immersion. But I understand people might not like that because it's Facebook, and sending your data to Facebook, well, not everyone is a huge fan of that. But, you know, someday you're gonna have to send that data off to someone, in case you want AR. But that brings me on to my next point. The pass-through home environment in the Oculus Quest. What if it could be so much more. What if you could walk around that pass-through home environment and have virtual buttons around the place, virtual windows? And I mean, you can already do that, actually. You can already create virtual windows around you and have multitasking on a whole new level. However, I mean virtual light switches. I mean virtual buttons on your desk to turn on your computer, turn it off, you know, wake on land, stuff like that. But pretty much my, my room is covered in smart home devices. I want to turn on my lights. I have a virtual light switch. Press it, lights go on. How cool would that be? If your virtual pass-through home environment was also like your smart hub. Again, kind of creepy to some people, but to me, kind of sounds like a dream. This is why I think this is going to be the future, and trying it out now and seeing how well it already works, well, that gives me even more hope. 
and I'm very excited. Let me know what you think about it down below. Which apps have you guys tried in the new pass through API or have you tried any apps in the new pass through API? What do you think about it? Do you think it's going to be the future? And what do you want to see created using the pass through API? We pretty much have endless possibilities blending these two worlds together and I'm very excited to see what you guys think about it. That is going to be it for today's video. If you guys liked it, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of the community, we have a Discord down below. We also have a Reddit down below where I want to see you posting your spice memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way she perform, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that doesn't put a huge anime body. And if you guys want to know the future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button. You see who are dig my bell and see you in the next video. Peace.